Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. When we have finished creating the game, we need to upload and release the game. After it is successfully released, players can find and play our games on the platform. The editor provides a very convenient game release function. Next, let's learn how to release the game. We open a game project, enter the editor. Click the drop down menu button in the upper left corner. Under file, you can find two options regarding game release. They are release game and beta release. Let's first take a look at the beta release. Click on beta release to open the release test game window. Double click release test game icon and enter the game detail interface. We need to fill in information of the game here. First, we select the language type in English is required. That is to say, no matter which language you want to select, you must have the English version filled in. This aims to at least display the game introduction in English in case the system language of the player's device is different from the language in which the game was released and helps players understand what the game is about. After we have selected language, set a game name and fill in the game description. Then classify the game based on its content. Set game icon and game cover according to the requirements of the editor. The size of the game icon is 326, multiplied by 326 pixels, and the file size should be within 200 kb. The size of the game cover is 684, multiplied by 282 pixels, and the file size should be within 200 kb. Finally, read and check user game upload agreement. After making sure that the game content and logic are free of any errors, Click the release button. The editor will release the beta game to the platform. If there are errors remaining in game, such as code logic errors, the game will fail to release. Next, let's take a look at how to enter the beta game we released on our mobile device. Launch Blockman Go and switch to your personal center. Note that the account you logged in on the mobile terminal must be the same as the account logged into the editor. Click on the testing center, and you shall find the beta game we released here. You can run the test yourself, or invite friends to play together. When the game passes the test and there's nothing to modify, we can release the official version of the game. Enter the editor, click the drop down menu button in the upper left corner. Under file, click release game option to open the release game window. Double click release new game and enter the game details interface. Similar to the process of beta release, let's skip the repeated introduction here. After all contents are filled, check the user game upload agreement and click release. The editor will upload our games. The games will then be reviewed by the game reviewers. The game will be launched on the platform officially if it passes the review. Once released successfully, players from across the world will be able to play your game. After the game is successfully released, how can we check on relevant data of the game? We can see the relevant data of each game we uploaded from the Creator Center official website. Visit the official website, log in to the account, move the mouse to the upper right corner, where the avatar is located. Click Personal Center and unfold the Creator Center in the navigation bar on the left. Click Manage Games. All our published games will be displayed here, along with the review status and online status of each game. Click on Player Data. We can see all the data of each player sorted in the last 7 days, the last 14 days, and the last 30 days. Player Data includes daily new users and daily active users. Click Event Analysis. All the relevant data of events that players have triggered in each game are displayed here. Specific events require API of event tracking written in our game logic. 
The content of event analysis will be explained later. Click crash data to view the error information that the recent players encountered in each published game. Relevant data include, number of errors occurred, details of each error, information on crashing devices, etc. With the help of these data, we can easily troubleshoot bugs or loopholes in the game. Click on Game Performance. Number of likes and all the comments for each game can be viewed here. With the data above, it helps us better optimize our games. The current source of revenue for the game is G-Cubes and advertising. Game creators can cash out the G-Cubes they get. Click Game Revenue to see the recent G-Cubes income. You can also check the recent G-Cubes data for each game released. As for how to cash out G-Cubes, will be available on the official website soon. Regarding the advertising revenue, we will also provide relevant data access in the near future on the official website. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.